Championship fight between the Korean zombie Chan Sung Jung and Anthony Showtime Pettis. Former UFC lightweight champion, a man for whom one name is good enough, Showtime. And you watch him, you know that when he goes, it's going to be a show. So when he turns his back to the camera and points at the Showtime, right. it always gets people excited because in a few moments, you're gonna watch something very, very fun. From that Showtime kick to the submission of Vince Anderson in Milwaukee, to the knockout of Wonderboy Thompson, even in defeat, when he fought Tony Ferguson, the stock of Anthony Pettis continues to rise even though he's been here for a while. As versatile a finisher as we have in the game at present, moves up to welterweight, promptly knocks out Stephen Wonderboy Thompson as a sizable underdog that night. Far be it from me to doubt anything that Anthony Pettis can accomplish in a mixed martial arts setting. He is back for more here tonight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing to him. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight this way. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. Both fighters are 33 years of age. Pettis is three inches taller. The reach is identical. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC featherweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Taekwondo fighter, holding a professional record of 23 wins, 10 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, presenting the challenger, Anthony Showtime Pettis. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 6 losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Seoul, South Korea, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, the Korean Zombie Champion. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bring my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. A nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out for They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. You get it in the octagon tonight. Pettis gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. 
Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. A single collar tie now. Well, the Korean Zombie strike attempt there is blocked. And he comes through with a big knee. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he eats a knee. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing so fast, so crisp. So nice work here up against the fence. Clinch situation, staying busy. And I would think a lot of good teaching moments, too, in terms of how to be effective in close. I mean, how many Randy Couture classes did this guy watch? Right. He's fighting just like the natural. Head kick lands and he's hurt. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Chan Sung Jung. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Anthony Pettis. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Right punches there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Such a fast leg kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Blocks the shot. Pettis gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. It's a strategy you see from a lot of high-level fighters to try to sway the judges late in the round. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Five minutes in the books. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big head kick lands. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice hook lands. That's a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up with it. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay stand and show and talk to your toughness. So 42 total strikes have landed for Anthony Showtime Pettis. And the accuracy rate about 42% now against the Korean zombie Chan Sung Jung. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab is gonna work so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, nice punch there by Pettis. Big power right hand there by the Korean Zombie. This is as powerful a featherweight as there is in this division, and he has certainly found his range right in this area. This is exactly what he needed to get a takedown and secure the position. Back 
to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his offhand. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Good stick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. What a big time pick out. Oh. Getting tighter. Submission defense there. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of this back by Pettis. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Oh, he heard a bat with a jab. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Chan Sung Jung. Try to establish that jab. Oh, single collar tie here. The fight. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Knee there. Oh! Just over three minutes to go in round three. up now and now the damage is about to start back to the feet oh collar tie well it's all pace and pressure down the stretch he is really lighting them up now, now. right there with some of the fight and it was perfect it was absolutely perfect John. great place to come out of the big kick lands oh big left Korean Zombie gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there, disguising his entry. Close guard. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better. Well, the Korean Zombie's looking to lock up an arm bar here. He's a tight arm bar now. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. He got it. He got it, John. Oh, he got it done. Absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. Wild round and a wild 
sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. Well, hard not to feel good for the UFC featherweight champion of the world, not only getting the job done here tonight, but getting the finish as well. A huge submission and one of the bigger performances of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta is calling stop to this contest at four minutes, 36 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still! So there he is, the undisputed UFC featherweight champion, confident as ever.